we're talking about marching orders that were given down by arguably the most racist General Assembly in the United States. Good evening, it's Darlene Azarmi. I am here representing Democracy North Carolina and the Asheville Buncombe NAACP. We're talking about marching orders that were given down by arguably the most racist General Assembly in the United States, um, specifically in Asheville in 2015 when we had a black representative elected to council, there was an immediate plan put into play, and this is a part of a greater strategy in North Carolina and across the nation, as you may know. Um, we are being pounded left and right in the sector of voting rights at the state level, and it comes down to race. There's a lot of talk about partisanship. We can talk about that, and there are many lawyers on council. So it's mind-blowing to me that there has been silence this long on this issue, and We've seen these court cases in Wake County and in Greensboro pushed back, and the fact that we're still sitting here twiddling thumbs in silence, not answering emails, um, just not speaking on the issue. I commend the council, council members who have taken a stance on this issue, but the public needs to be aware. There needs to be communication, there needs to be education, forums, and a public dialogue around this issue because the ethical cost of simply standing by and allowing this to push over has far-reaching far precedence, not just for Asheville, but for the entire nation. And this is, this is a very, very serious issue. This might be the most serious issue facing this tw the 2020 upcoming election, and this is really the integrity of our entire election system, the crux of all of you being able to sit in your seats and say that you're legitimately elected. So I don't think we need to go into specifics about cracking and stacking and AV, AV, BVAP, the black votes per hour in Asheville. I know that there have been questions about the percentages. Is it, can this be a racial gerrymander if it's not 5%? We have around 3.5% registered African Americans in Asheville. Regardless of all of these technical legal issues, y'all need to take a stand on this. The public needs to know where you're at and I am asking you, and on behalf of my organizations, to fight back. And you know, in saying that, what was the quote? Is can we win in a meaningful way? Um, what is the difference between a charter and a lawsuit? People don't know these things, and we need you to to give that information, speak with a backbone, and stand firm on this issue. Impeach the motherfucker. Hey! Impeach the motherfucker. Hey! Impeach the motherfucker. Impeach the motherfucker. Impeach the motherfucker. Hey!